Hello and welcome to HappilyEducated.com. So as I have mentioned in my last post, I am very concerned about climate change and I've decided it's time for me to actually do something about it. So I'm in the process of trying to figure out how to become a climate change activist. But don't worry, this blog is not going to become a climate change blog. I'm sure I'll mention climate change on occasion, uh, but I still have plenty of other topics that I'm interested in and would like to write about. Um, so this blog will continue to be about a broad range of topics. However, uh, this particular post is going to be about climate science, and my next post will be about climate change activism. You know, since these are topics that I happen to be thinking about quite a lot lately, it just makes sense to write about them. And I'll warn you that Climate science is kind of a downer of a subject, uh, so this post might be a bit heavy on the doom and gloom, but my next post will be at least a bit more uplifting when I talk about what we can actually do about this problem. So I should probably start by defining what I mean when I say climate change. According to Wikipedia, the term climate change can be broadly defined as, quote, a significant and lasting change in the statistical distribution of weather patterns over periods ranging from decades to millions of years." End quote. Now these days, of course, the term climate change is often used interchangeably or synonymously with the term global warming to refer specifically to long-term variations in climate that are caused by human activity, um, as opposed to changes in climate that are caused by the Earth's natural process. So this man-made effect on weather patterns is what I mean when I say climate change. Uh oh, give me just a second, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm sorry for the interruption, um, but Dax wanted me to let you know that he is also very concerned about climate change. So, back to where I was. Uh, humans cause climate change when they release carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. And these gases basically act like a blanket around the Earth. They trap energy inside the atmosphere, which causes the planet to warm. And the majority of greenhouse gases come from humans burning fossil fuels, such as coal, oil, and natural gas. But to really understand what climate change is, I think it's important to understand the difference between climate and weather. Now, weather is what you see every day when you look out your window. Right? And most places experience a variety of weather conditions, depending in part on what season it is. So some days it's hot and sunny, some days it's cool and rainy, some days it snows, depending on where you are, and that's perfectly normal. Um, climate, on the other hand, refers to the average weather in any given place. So a region's climate would typically include um, the average temperature, the average humidity, the average precipitation, the average wind, etc., etc. And some variations in climate are normal, uh, but this overall general warming trend that we're seeing is not. Now, since the planet is warming slowly and this change is occurring on a global scale, the daily weather in any specific place cannot be used as a reliable indicator of these long-term shifts in climate patterns. So it's therefore incredibly misleading when climate change deniers say things like, well, it's snowing like crazy in Virginia today. I guess we don't have to worry about climate change. That kind of nonsense is just completely absurd and should not be taken seriously. Uh, the most important thing I've learned recently about climate change is that, unfortunately, this problem is even bigger and more urgent than I had thought. You know, not only um, is climate change already leading to more extreme weather events such as flooding, drought, um, you know, extreme storms, that kind of thing, all over the world, including in the United States. But even if we were to cut carbon emissions to zero today, the planet would still heat up about two degrees Celsius. And that might not sound like a huge temperature change, um, but it's enough to make many places where people currently live uninhabitable, either because they will be too hot or they will be underwater. And a two degree temperature rise will also threaten agriculture um, and supplies of fresh water and probably lead to the extinction of many species. Now, anyone who tries to say that the science on this issue is not yet settled is quite frankly full of shit. Um, pardon my language. You know, they are either ignorant or deluded or perhaps even intentionally dishonest, unfortunately. 
Over 97% of climate scientists agree that A, climate change is happening, B, this change, this warming, is caused by human activity, and C, this global warming is likely to be catastrophic for all species, including humans, unfortunately, or I should say the consequences of this warming will be catastrophic for all species, including humans. Now, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Science, or the IPCC, which is a group of thousands of the world's leading climate experts, has recently issued three reports describing what climate change is and, you know, what its effects will be. The first of these reports confirmed that climate change is caused by humans burning fossil fuels and, to a lesser extent, deforestation. The second report uh, described how climate change is already affecting our environmental systems in extremely alarming ways, while also warning that the worst is yet to come. And the third report basically said that if we stay on our current track, the planet is going to warm more than two degrees Celsius, which could literally threaten our survival as a species. So this is a really big problem, people. Um, if we don't hurry up and do something um, to slow climate change, we will be completely and totally screwed. And, you know, I apologize for the alarmist tone of this post, but this issue is truly alarming. So, you know, climate change is not a distant problem happening somewhere far away in the world or at some time far in the distant future. It's happening right now. Um, and it's going to get much, much worse unless we actually do something about it very quickly. Now, I sincerely hope that climate scientists are wrong when they say that climate change is a problem. I like my lifestyle the way it is, and I have no desire to change it. Um, and I don't enjoy thinking about this or worrying about this. I would much, much, much prefer to just ignore it altogether. However, um, the evidence that climate change is happening is simply too compelling to ignore, and the possible consequences of this climate change um, are too extreme to accept without a fight. So please take a moment to indulge in a brief thought experiment with me. All right, just imagine that after studying it for decades, thousands of the world's most respected fire safety experts said that your house was going to burn down, and they were also quite certain that you, your family, and everything you valued would be destroyed in the process. Now, you'd probably want to move, right? But let's just say for a second that moving were not a possibility. In that case, you would probably do everything in your power to prevent your house from burning down, and you would also likely invest in the best homeowner's insurance policy that you could possibly, possibly afford. So why should preventing the destruction of the planet be any different? Um, you know, it is our home, and we can't move to a different one. Um, and I'll leave you with that thought for today, actually. Uh, I'll stop right there. But please do check back in a week or two for my next post, which will be about what we actually can do about this problem. And until then, happy learning.